Well, good morning and welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. Uh, this week, we're looking, working through the Sermon on the Mount. We'll be doing this for several weeks. Uh, and all today, we're at verse 17 of Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to read a few verses. This is Jesus talking and teaching. He says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen, by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the, and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus this morning talks about Torah or law and the prophets. And for some reason, some of the folks had felt like Jesus had come to abolish the law, abolish Torah. And Jesus makes it very plain. I didn't come to abolish it. I came to fulfill it. Now the Torah is the first five books of the Old Testament. The prophets obviously are, are the uh, writings of, of the prophets in there. And he said, I came to fulfill that. In both the Torah and the prophets, there are many passages that point towards a Messiah. Uh, Moses talked about a Messiah. He says, there's going to be someone else come who's going to be like me. I've talked to God face to face. This person will. They won't. Most prophets get it by visions and dreams, but this guy will get it directly from God. And he was, he was talking about prophecy all through uh, the Torah, there, there are many passages that talk about uh, Messiah coming. Obviously, the prophets have so many. The Psalms have so many that point towards Messiah. Uh, Jesus said, I came to fulfill that. He came to fulfill the sacrificial system. Once a year, the uh, uh, Jewish people would come, and, and in fact, usually more than once a year, but at least once a year they would come and sacrifice a lamb, and if they were poor, it would be a bird or something for their sins. Uh, they would do the scapegoat every year for the, for the, would put their sins on the scapegoat upon the, the innocent lamb, put it out there. Well, once and for all, Jesus died on the cross for all our sins, and, uh, and so we don't need a, a sacrificial system today for that, because Jesus paid that price. He said, I came to fulfill it. And then he has a very interesting statement at the end. He says, for I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. Now that would have been striking to his, his listeners that day, to the multitude, especially his disciples. But the Pharisees uh, though we look at them as being kind of judgmental, legalistic like that, they were greatly respected in Jesus' day. Uh, they were very learned. They were very uh, religious. Uh, they knew that they they not only knew the Old Testament, they had memorized the Old Testament, and they had developed up commentaries on the, on the Old Testament of all the laws about this is how you keep it, this is how you do it. And uh, a lot of times when they start accusing Jesus of not keeping the law, they're saying you're not keeping our commentary on it. You know, what we think, how we interpret you ought to keep it rather than the law itself. Jesus talked about that. But he says, you know, okay, they know all of that. And then they twice a week would fast. Uh, you've got to admire them for that. They fasted twice a week. They gave to the poor. They, they, they did a lot of good things. But Jesus says that your righteousness needs to surpass them. And that 
would really get his audience because first of all, they certainly wouldn't have been as knowledgeable as them. Secondly, probably most of them did not fast twice a week. They didn't do all the prayers and all the different things that the Pharisees would have done. And Jesus said, I want you to be more righteous than them. And what Jesus is going to talk about the rest of the, of the uh, uh, chapter, and we're going to look at uh, specific laws from the Torah. And he's, not, he's going to go in deep. He's just not going to talk about not doing something, but he's going to talk about the motives behind it. Not only are we to do what's right on the outside, but we're to be right on the inside. And the only way you can get that is through Jesus. Uh, he has to change our heart. Uh, the prophet said that, you know, give me a new heart. And the only way that happens is when we receive Jesus and he gives us a new heart. And our righteousness becomes pure and our motives become pure. And we're going to talk about that the rest of the week, about how our righteousness can be better than the Pharisees. And uh, we're going to talk about how to have pure motives when we serve the Lord. Well, I hope you have a great day and have a blessed day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.